All right, welcome to Nature Notes. My name is Christine McClure, and I'm a practicum student here at Schmeekly. So my Nature Notes is on a low-growing plant, and it acts like a sponge. Does anybody have an idea of what plant could be here at Schmeekly that acts like a sponge? AJ. Moss. Yes, and more specifically, it is sphagnum moss. So sphagnum moss acts like a sponge. So a sponge will uh, absorb water, just like this, and it'll help you clean dishes, but it also absorb water and keep water retained when wanted, otherwise you can squeeze and the water comes out. Well, ironically, so does sphagnum moss. So sphagnum moss, you can take right off the ground and squeeze it, and it also lets water out as you squeeze it. So sphagnum moss can hold up to 20 times its weight in water. Um, it is a low-growing plant, and it actually does not have a root system. So if you look on the Schmeekly map, the blue areas are all marshy areas, and the sphagnum moss can be located at any of those blue areas. So the plant itself, um, it doesn't actually have a root structure. It is just a leaf stem that includes leaf cells. So it's a very unique plant. So here, you can pass it around if you guys want to pull out a little stem. Um, but it is an also extremely old plant. So it is dated back to 155 million years ago to the prehistoric age. So it is said that the dinosaurs actually ate this plant. But how it got here at Wisconsin was, Wisconsin was much covered with a glacier. So once this glacier started melting and receding back, sphagnum moss actually was exposed to sunlight and it just flourished. Um, a unique characteristic of this moss is that it thrives on colder climates. So its temperature range goes from negative 65 degrees up to 70 degrees in the summer. So it can flourish in almost any kind of temperature. Um, it can be used in multiple ways for humans. It is um, an antibacterial, so it will fight off any bacteria. So if you're out in the wild, you get a scrape or something, you don't have a bandage, you can take um, a little bit of sphagnum moss, squeeze the water out, and then place it on the wound and tape it around or just hold it there and it'll help ward off any bacteria. It is also used um, agriculturally. So agriculture, agriculture people, farmers, farmers, <laughs> that's the word. Farmers can take sphagnum moss and they can place it in their soil. So the sphagnum moss will keep the water within the soil and the plants and the crops can grow. This also works in garden beds, just in your backyard. And it also gets used um, in flower pots. So this brown stuff that is at the bottom of the flower pot is partially sphagnum moss. So um, sphagnum moss is actually harvested and um, they're called mossers. And the biggest um, company is right here in Wisconsin. It's located in central Wisconsin just off to the west. It is called um, Moser, it, Moser Lees. It is right in Millston, Wisconsin. And um, they are one of the biggest uh, corporation to have the sphagnum moss, and they have mosers that go out and mosers, mosers that go out into the field and they'll pull up this um, sphagnum moss. It has to grow for about seven years before it can be harvested. And then these mo mosers take this moss and they can use it for flower plants, plants, pots, and then they can give it to farmers for agricultural use or garden. And that's one of its main main reasons they manufacture, harvest this moss. All right, so you can find sphagnum moss here in Schmeekly. It is good for wildlife and it represents a nice form of a bog. Is there any questions?